Hi guys! Hello mga kapwa ko, mga Pinoy. Especially sa mga uh, mga guru dyan sa Pinas. Hello! Well, um, alam ko na gustong-gusto nyo na pumunta dito sa Amerika. Uh, but there's one thing that I want you to know. When we come here, it's not just like we will focus on our work. We will focus on um, in teaching itself. If we want more money, we need to do some extra because our our money, our salary as teachers is, is not enough for our daily living because it's, the expenses here is very expensive too. Mahal ang mga bilihin dito sa America. Mahal ang pagkain, mahal lahat. Like, it's not, hindi siya katulad sa Pinas na you can just buy food, I mean, can rice, one cup of rice for 10 pesos or 20 pesos. In here, you can't buy that. So, um, our salary is big. Ang salary natin, mga Pinoy dito, mga guru, no? Compared to the Philippine salary. But, still, hindi yun enough sa pamumuhay natin dito sa America. Um, it's okay if we spend our money in the Philippines kasi malaki talaga yun. But in here, of course, we we have to um, spend also on our own self, right? To buy some stuff that we need. So, kailangan natin ng extra income. Alright? So, hindi po get um, nandito ka na. I mean, yeah, you wanted to be a, a teacher. But, don't just stay as that. Don't just like, um, wukang, wukang magano lang sa being teacher. Don't depend on your salary as teacher. Because, um, that would, that wouldn't be enough. Okay? And, so, if you wanna buy your, the things that you wanted and you need it, right? So, yun. Kaya, um, I am here at my friend's house. Um, and now I, because gusto ko ng extra income and, and gusto ko malaman yung mga J1 visa or yung mga hindi pa J1 ha, yung mga applying for J1 visa gusto ko malaman niyo na you can't have a job with a payroll thing or any that has papers on it can't have that it should be um, under the table you can have extra payment extra income extra pay but it should be under the table yung table <laughs> and <ito>, table <laughs> joke lang but um, what I mean is yung extra income na pwedeng hindi dadaan sa papel like this so I'm here in my friend's house kasi um, she wanted me to help her in um, cleaning her house and so arranging his uh, her pantry room so that is why I'm here and this is an extra income already okay so what po kayo mag ano na mag isip na oh pagpunta ko ng America teacher lang ako ay hindi ako magiging Hindi ako magiging sa bahay, gano'n, sa ibang bahay, something that, no. If you wanna make money, then you should do whatever it takes. Kahit pa hindi ka sanay, or you're not used to it, in the Philippines, kung hindi mo gawain yan sa Pilipinas, the plain teaching ka lang, no, it, it's not that. If you wanna make money, if you want to make more money, you have to do whatever it takes. You you have to do whatever it is para lang kumita ka. Okay? So, yun. Yun na yun. So, again, yung mga aspiring for J1 visa, huwag kayong mag-expect na kanya lang, dapat teaching lang. Tapos, okay na yung sahod nyo. Especially pag may pamilya ko sa Pilipinas. Kasi hindi yun pwede. Kailangan mo ng extra income. Okay? Yan lang po. So, ayan lang ang mga ideas. Aside sa maglilisang bahay ng ibang bahay, 
you can also have a extra work in a certain restaurant or hotel now example like um, um decorating if there's a wedding pag may mga kaso na pwedeng kayo ang gumawa ng mga arrangements pwedeng pwede yun malaking kita yun okay tapos pwede rin sa ano kung restaurant kung, kung gusto nila kung okay lang tapos hindi lahat ng restaurant pwede ka pumasok na hindi pa uh, may, may papel or something like that so pwede kang dishwash doon doon or any na ano under, na pwedeng under the table lang ang payment hindi yung with pay sleep or payroll yun pero hindi yan actually ano eh usually dito kasi pag ganyan na like mga grocery stores or malls kailangan talaga papel na papel to papel so hindi yan pwedeng ano ganun lang like okay I can give you 30 dollars for like, like that okay so yun yun lang ang idea ko for today and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click nyo po yan dyan sa lupa para man po si Miss D ay magiging happy okay yun lang po sa araw na to and this is Miss D saying mabuhay po kayong lahat lalo na sa mga God bless!